I got these a long time ago for the Hosium 9125, and they were pretty awesome street tires. Now I got some other ones. I thought they are the same exact tire, but just different tread. These on-road seem to have a little different feel to them. These are lighter. These feel chunkier. These tires have like a honeycomb sidewall right here. Keeps it light, but still firm. And then I wanted some white walls so you can see how fast the tires spin. I mean, I wish they were a little bit wider. These wheels do stick out just a little bit more. Did you guys see that? What is that? We get a nice super bright 36 LED light bar. I got off the the AliExpress little super save deal. Um, it was under $9. These tires were under 22. They were like 21 something change all together. And we also got some uh, BRX. These are for the Blast 2.0. I'll leave a I'll leave links for these in all the description. They come mounted. You just gotta glue them. That's how these were too. I mean, you can get them pre-glued other places, I'm sure, but you can't beat the price. And uh, what else we got? Ooh, one thing I don't really like are the nuts that they use on the stock nitro here. See how small they are? We're gonna use these little bit bigger ones. So see how that looks? That looks much better. Those will hold the wheel on. Probably be better for the the bolt wheel spline too. Here's a look at the batteries with the parallel plug. Here's a series plug. Now this would make these 3S batteries run into 6S. So be careful. I just had a little issue where I tightened the nut down and it tightened the wheel up like I couldn't move it. And what happened was, well, well see the hex got stuck. On this hex here on the inside, see the little raised up part right along the inside? That keeps the hex off of this plastic part and just kind of presses against the bearing and allows it to spin freely. Well, that wears off and you just replace it with a new hex. All right, guys, if you never saw a nitro naked, here's what it looks like. <laughs> it was pretty sweet, huh? That's gonna look really nice. This light bar is really easy to put together. All you have to do, put that screw through the metal plate, through the bushing, screw it into this housing, that's it. And then on the other end, you just have a simple... The hardest thing for me with this was centering it on the dang roof. It's really slippery and luckily this nitro has these screws here that help me kind of center it. After that, I measured left to right and once I got that I held her real nice and I took a little punch and just marked little holes it mounts on with four little little screws and nuts here's a cool way how I made my holes guys I heated up the tip of an allen wrench and I just melted it through and since it melts it instead of like tearing it and all that I'd imagine the hole is a little stronger and then mount those in there, tighten them down, then do your next two holes so they'll be perfect. I noticed it was, a, it was a little bouncy just sitting it on the ground. Look at that guys. We blew the bottom of the shot cap. See the blue, see that blue shot cap there that screws on the bottom? It came, I don't know if it came unthreaded or just got blown off. Could have when we hit that manhole cover, that was pretty hard. But I'm thinking it might have been before then, too, because it was kind of bouncing up, you know, like the ass. I'm just thinking maybe maybe we were a little bouncy. So anyway, I'm going to thread that back on there and fill it back up with oil. Check this one. Fixed and refilled. We got some 80 weight, 90. I just kind of use this in everything. Here's the stock oil. We're going to dump it out and refill it with the same oil so we have even even weight oil in the rear. Seems like pretty good oil. It's not super thin. It's probably really close to what we're using. What we're gonna, it's probably really close to this, 80 weight. So I'm gonna fill that back up and here's a little look at it. Pretty nice shocks, really nice. Here's what this oil looks like going in. Pretty similar, huh? Put a little down on the plate. How does this look? It's 
So on this left shock here, the bottom blue cap was actually loose. I held it with the needle nose and tightened it up quite a bit. That was about to fall off. That's probably what happened. And then we had a bouncy rear end. And when I hit the manhole cover, that's why it looked like that. On all four shocks, one fell off. And the other three were actually really loose, about to start leaking and fall off themselves. Took the needle nose and tightened them up really good. One, two, three, go. Holy shit. All right, accelerate a little slower or smooth and top speed. Wide open. Oh shit. Oh no. We've, I see a tire way over there. 59 miles an hour. And broke the back end pretty good. Well, I'll be fixing that. We got 60 though, and a wheelie. We broke the A-arms. A-arms and these little hubs here, yep, those hubs got broke. Um, I'm gonna go try to find the dog bones and we're gonna be ordering some parts. The bumper held in there. Well, it's 40 degrees Fahrenheit, pretty chilly. As you can see on the hard tar, taking a big, big crash like that. Well, I found the dog bones and spare tire. And we're gonna order up some new A-arms and rear cups and we're going metal. A little damage report kind of busted that up and we kind of made this side match this side and that's it for the body so that's pretty good still yeah pretty nice so uh, I took the a-arms off just so it's a little bit easier I left everything connected that's fine um, we're just gonna get new a-arms and put them on in a couple weeks Found the found the dog bones. That's really cool. Um, found a couple little pieces of the body, so I could I can glue those in. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty birds getting a new house here. Getting him a bigger house. Yeah, he's getting a bigger house with wheels on it. So I'm always carrying him around. It and uh, yeah, it's gonna be nice. Good things coming. Ooh, you guys see what's over on the table? Can you see what's on the table? What is that? Is that a brand new RC? It's not focusing. What is that, guys? It looks green. Oh, shit. These chassis are really similar. They have the same mounting points and all that. The, d the main difference is this is the BL. This is long. This is the 1 8 longer chassis. With the center diff, you can take the center diff out and put just a normal gear in there. Um, but you can't do that with this one. This is uh, set up in the back a little different. This runs 48 pitch gears. This runs 32. But I mean the chassis part. A-arms, the chassis, the steering, steering parts, all that. That's the same. 